I purchased a hot tub from a company up country, um, and I'm down obviously in Cornwall and Truro. Um, and I, everything went well, and I filled it up and bathed away with my wife. And um, I noticed that the water was going down. So I phoned the company and I say, Oh, my hot tub, I keep having to fill out with water. And they say to me, Oh, that's normal, it evaporates. Fast forward uh, seven weeks, I phone them back and I say, look, I'm still having to fill it up. They say, take the side off, have a look. So I take the side Mark, off. Mark, how much leakage are we talking about? Are we talking about a very slow reduction in the level or is it all yeah, disappearing you know, within within like, a day? Yeah, you know, it's kind of an inch a day comes out of it off the top so okay i shine a torch inside and i can see it dripping inside um constantly so i phone the company and i say can you i email them can you and phone them can you come and repair it and they basically say yes but you'll have to pay for the call out and we will pay for the part and I kind of feel, well, you know, is it my who's in the right, who's in the wrong? Yeah. Um, uh, was it was it a new uh, hot tub yeah. or was it second hand when you bought it? Brand new from a uh, company. I phoned the manufacturer. Yeah. OK. I don't, they... I don't think I need any more details about that, Mark. The, the answer is pretty straightforward. When you buy it from a retailer, it has to be of satisfactory quality. That's what the Consumer Rights Act says. And so uh, if it's leaking... If it's losing an inch of water a day, and that's yeah. that's not evaporation. That's a leak quite clearly. And you saw the leak. That's not of satisfactory quality. They have to repair it at their own cost. Uh, you've said it's more than 30 days since you bought it, which means they have the right to attempt a repair. You don't have a right yet to demand a refund. But if you att- if they attempt a repair and it doesn't work, you are then entitled to a refund. 